Aging is a fact of life, and as women, you know our hormones can do some strange things. Sonia Zaz shows us what's out there to help us all age gracefully in this WFAA original. Ladies, you feel me, we get older, things start changing, and I'm not just talking gray hair and wrinkles. For a lot of women, the first symptom that they have the first one is they can't sleep. Brain fog, fatigue, irritability, mood swings. They can't lose weight after 35 or 40. Usually we think this is just part of life, something that happens to everyone, right? It's not everyone, and it doesn't have to be everyone. I spoke with three experts, Terry Denai, a 50-year-old nurse practitioner, Don Cotillo, 51 years old and author of The Hormone Shift, and Dr. Jill Wagner, board certified family medicine physician, mom, and 60 years old. It's important to me to age well. Check out Dr. Wagner in her 20s. Yep, a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, full of energy and full of natural, youthful hormones. We all have estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. Those hormones are always fluctuating, but as we age, women experience dips in progesterone, which keep us in check, and in estrogen, which is responsible for our brain function, sex drive, even skin texture. So why the drop-offs? There's a genetic component to it. There's a lifestyle component to it. Not to mention, we're outpacing our bodies. If you're under more stress, it's going to drain hormones and cause more problems with mood, weight, and sleep. So if you feel off, our experts say it's time to make an appointment with someone who knows about hormone replacement therapy. Not the synthetic stuff. Synthetic hormone replacement therapy has kind of been deemed by the FDA as a little bit unsafe. Use the smallest amount for the shortest amount of time possible. The truth is women have a ton of options out there right now. There's the holistic stuff with diet and exercise, or the patches, the pills, the creams, the pellets. But let's be clear, not necessarily FDA approved. Look up bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. The term bioidentical, which some people argue with, the term simply means the chemical structure of the hormone that you are getting, taking, looks like what you make in your body. This is kind of what they look like. These are hormone pellets. It's the closest thing that we found to mimic the body's natural production of hormones. They're the same hormone powder you'd find in a cream patch or pills, but placed under the skin. It's pressed down into this tiny pellet that's about the size um, of a rice grain, and it's released based on um, cardiac output. It's not time released. So the more active you are, the more you're blowing and going, the more you're exercising, the more stress you're under, whether it's good stress or bad stress, it'll that'll determine how fast you burn through them. Before you go hormone crazy, here's your warning. If you are going to do hormone you need to know what your levels are. Otherwise, you may be putting yourself in danger. A baseline blood or saliva test should help you to figure out a good starting point. We don't just look at, okay, your, your gas tank is empty, uh, so we're gonna put some hormone in your you know, system and hope for the best. And yes, you can balance hormones without drugs or surgery. Be Balanced is one of the newest hormone weight loss centers in Dallas. Just lifestyle changes, education, and then support and some natural supplements. Lower the stress, balance the hormones, and they can literally look and feel better when they're 50 than when they were 45. Who doesn't want that? So we're just following up on her. Dr. Wagner, who's been on pellets herself for more than a year, says, we women can't avoid the dreaded years before and during menopause. You know, there are people who say anti-aging. I don't think I can stop aging. But we can transition gracefully. We can age with the ability to still focus and write and run and play with our grandchildren and, you know, just enjoy life. Sonia Azad, Channel 8 News. Or do yoga. As always, check with your doctor to see what treatment is best for you. To learn more, go to WFAA.com and click on Sonia's story.